everybody welcome to my channel today's video i'll be reviewing this this is transformers siege war for cybertron howard asher zatar and he is a generation select figure i believe i got him from entertainment earth um, i'll put links to him in the description below let's open him up now he is a retool of siege brunt and with just a different color scheme and a new head Pretty cool. Okay, let's get him out of the box. Here is Power Dasher Zadar out of the box. He comes with his set of instructions. You can see over here, Power Dasher Zatar. So he is a repaint and slight retool of Siege Brunt, uh, the Decepticon that goes with Trypticon. Let's see um, the different parts he separates into and the different loadouts. That sideswipe is showing in, or uh, demonstrating. Okay, let's look at the figure. Here he is. So he is a black and yellow, or yellow and black, repaint of Siege Brunt. And I gotta say, I like the colors. I, maybe it's just a combination of black and yellow. Um, the other thing I really like is look at that head. It is so 80s. I love that they took the time to put multiple paint apps on the head to make them at least the heads look like power dashers and you can see the little cone here I'm just gonna pull it off because in transformation this can come out and you can see look at that so he really needs this part if you lose this it's kind of out of luck here pretty cool though so yellow and black with silver paint Nicely done, no battle damage. A little plain on the bottom for my liking. I'm kind of curious what Toy Hex will do though. But uh, all in all, pretty nice. I think I like the color combination on him. Now, again, he is a repaint of Siege Brunt, so there's really not much to say about him. Um, I did a review of Siege Brunt a while ago, so I'll put a link in a card somewhere here. You guys want to check it out hey okay, let's get on to the articulation of the figure the head is not on a ball joint but he can spin 360 i think yeah there you go the arm rotates 360 goes up at the shoulder bends at the elbow little claws here he can rotate at the wrist. Oh, I forgot something. He can rotate at the arm. He does have thigh swivel. Kind of do splits. He can kick this far up, this far back, bend at the knee, and he does, of course, have ankle tilt. I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about this ankle tilt. It's like so much gap. I mean, granted, I, I'm guessing they're not expecting you to have super wide stances like like this. Or just kinds of, I don't know. I guess it looks okay. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Would be nicer if there was a better design for ankle tilt. And that is it for articulation. Hey, let's get this guy into his vehicle mode. Here's Power Dasher Zadar in vehicle mode. And I gotta say, he looks kind of plain. There's, I wish there were some paint apps or even just some black paint apps here um on this cannon but uh other than that the bot the bottom of the vehicle looks okay because you have all these nice little black and silver to break up the yellow and here is his drill head or drill piece <laughs> on it um i don't know it, it's again um it's it is a repaint of siege brunt it seemed to make more sense for me in my mind for siege brunt um but like this part it just seems kind of seems forced it, it, it's I, I know it's easy to do for hasbro being that this is a repaint but uh, 
I'm, I'm not exactly pleased with it. Again, um, I said this of the other Power Dashers. For me, I'm not getting the Power Dasher sets mainly for, for, for the figures, to be honest. I'm getting it because of the characters. These are characters that haven't been made um, or had a version of them made since G1. And I really just wanted to have a set. Nice paint dabs here in the middle on this uh, little piece. Curious again what Toy Hex will do for this guy. I, I think they can do some wonders on him. Wait, let's get him back into robot mode for some size comparisons. Here's Power Dasher Zadar next to his other Power Dasher, um, Chromar and Aragon. Here he is next to Combat Megatron, and here he is next to Battlemaster Aimless. Just like all the other Power Dashers, he is not a must-have in my opinion. Now, for me, I got him because he's a Power Dasher. I wanted a complete set of Power Dashers because we haven't had Power Dashers uh, as characters made since G1. And I, for, I think they're a good rendition of them. And um, but other than that, if you're collecting Siege, I don't think you're going to be missing out on anything. Uh, he's just basically a repaint of Brunt. Um, there are no no shortages of Autobots in the Siege line. So, um, you know, <laughs> three more Autobots, I don't think you're going to be missing too much. But if you are into niche characters, by all means, pick them up and uh, enjoy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And thanks for watching.